Hello everyone, this is on the YouTube channel with FYOS Genius. Uh, during my lunch break here, I'm just going to go ahead and quickly show you uh, a cool app that uh, works for your Mac app from 10.6 all the way to Mavericks to 10.9. Um, basically, it's a battery status. Uh, there's all, all these battery apps out there. Uh, I found this one to be the slimmest and also more detailed as well as others. Others will have basically a very long page that appears at the very top center uh, on your menu bar and then it actually takes up a good portion of your page. Whereas this one just takes a little bit smaller. So here is the battery app that's down here. So you can go up here to the top menu bar where the lightning bolt is. So if you hit this, this is the battery diagnostics. Uh, that actually shows you the battery capacity at the time being of 94%. It is still actually being charged. The source here is actually telling you what is being the source. Uh, this is the health of your battery. If there's a heart, sometimes you won't have a heart. You'll be like a little crack. Uh, basically, means you're you don't have too many life cycles on your on your Mac. Uh, this is 31 cycles. I'm currently using 31 cycles out of a thousand on my uh, MacBook Pro here. Uh, this is a 20. Let's see. I think it's 2012. To check about what model year is your MacBook or your iMac or Mac Mini uh, pretty much most likely for if you're using a battery diagnostic you'll do on the Mac uh, book it is about this Mac and then here you can select on more info and then here you go so I'm running a 13 inch mid 2012 model uh, running at 16 gigs of RAM so what you can do is you can close this run this app this app is completely free it is actually done through here it is, which is the battery diagnostic. And then um, it actually will go through the process of telling you the details. So you can go through here, do the screenshots, and it'll tell you the battery capacity and so forth. Uh, power source, battery condition, uh, some total partial discharge uh, cycles. And then, of course, here are the additional details where you go to another tab and you actually can see what, how much of your milliamps are. And you can see the screen is very small. Others that I've seen that would actually be longer. There's also themes. You can also change the colors if you wanted to. So basically, we're going to go back here to the... And I'm just going to show you. Uh, you can go ahead and rate this, but I've already rated it. So I'm going to set no thanks. Um, but if you open this up... So I have 5,425 uh, milliamps, which is currently being charged now. Uh, 5,425 milliamps is 100% charged. Now the reason why it doesn't go for the next remaining 6% is because I've been using this MacBook for a while. As you can see, 31 cycles. Now here it is. Basically the total design capacity is 5,770 and it's 5,425. So I've actually used some of it already out of the close to 6,000. Uh, and then the power usage is zero, and a power adapter is being used as source, and my battery condition is normal. Now you can also go ahead and up here and change the default to different themes if you wanted to, in case you wanted to match your background or anything else you may have running. Um, other information, if you want a newsletter, or you want to continue contact for support. So basically the review that I'm doing on this is basically there is a site that you can go to an Apple's website. This is the article number. Article number is H is in Henry, T is in Tom, 1519. If you go there, you'll be able to see uh, basically how to check the power cycles on your computer. But this is a free app, and it's always running, so I would like to know what my uh, power usage is or battery is limitation to. And basically... The way the normal process is following these directions is basically you have to do Apple, about this Mac, info, so that's one, two, three, three steps. This is four steps, five steps, and then right here. So basically here's 31, it's normal, I'm at 5,425, which is basically the same right basically here. And this is much more quicker and easier. So uh, instead of you doing the six or seven steps, you can either just download and install the application. Now if you scroll down here you can on the article for support you can see now I have a mid 2012 
So here's my mid 2012, uh, which is right here, MacBook Pro 13 inch, and my power cycles, maximum power cycle cycle count is 1,000. So right now I'm actually only using 31. So out of 31 out of 1,000, so I still have a whole lot more cycles. Uh, battery is very fairly new and it's still working strong. So I still might get my normal five, six hour battery life or even longer. So these are the other models and other years that are available and the size amounts of what it can only go up to other battery cycle. Now to show you, I've gone ahead and installed this onto another computer, which is right here. And using Apple Remote Desktop, this has been downloaded, but it hasn't been actually ran. So you're going to see what the difference are, what happens when you open it up. So as we go ahead and open this application, give it a moment. It says click the menu bar to open the dialog box. So if you click this, nothing will happen. Nothing will work. So you actually have to click the lightning bolt. Here is just basically other applications that they have that is made by the same vendor. Uh, I have not used any of these, so I can't really rate any of these. Uh, but to, for the duplicate finder, I find actually another website out there that has a duplicate finder, which is called AUS Logics. Uh, a -U -S Logics with an S at the end, uh, they have a duplicate finder which is actually completely free. So you can go ahead and put in your email, so subscribe any news or updates, or follow on Twitter. So we're just going to go ahead and close this. We're going to open this uh, by the lightning bolt. As you can see, this one here is 5,517 cycles. It's a milliamp. This is also, as you can see, it's only four cycles has been used. Uh, basically, the this is a brand new laptop. Uh, it has not been really rarely ever used when you charge four times uh, out of a thousand so again you can go back to the website so this is it would be let's see what year and model this is so you would go to Apple about this Mac more info and then you can see here a 13 inch 2012 model okay so the 13 inch 2012 model and if we go back here which is basically the same model that I have um, here is mini mid 2012 and you're looking at a thousand cycles so it actually this battery on this computer uh, is going to last quite a long time um, so if we hit this and you can see there's only four cycles and here 5770 milliamps that's the same thing I have on my MacBook and this is just a different one so it's very fairly even used so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to an older Mac and you're going to see the difference. So if we go to this one here, uh, this is a different Mac. This I've been downloaded and installed the program, but I didn't run it yet. So we're just going to go here to the about, about this Mac. You're going to select on more info. Give it a second, it's kind of old. So here's a late 2008 13 inch model to go back to the website of Apple. So 2008, 13 inch, so 2008, here we go, 2008, late, 13 inch, should only go really to a maximum cycle count of 500. Now, this is a bit, a bit intriguing, and if you go here and go ahead and open up the battery diagnostic, uh, give it a second there, there's a lightning bolt, oh, it's actually asking for information and showing other applications that you can actually download or purchase if you like. So we're going to close this, select open the lightning bolt again, and here battery capacity is 48%, current charge is 55%. So basically this battery is only lasting up to 55%. So really here remaining, so the battery is actually full charge. Actually right now it's actually just uh, it's telling you that you have to replace it soon. You only have 57 minutes remaining on the battery. So if you go here, which is basically shows you the information as well, uh, you have a, an orange health. Basically, the orange health is close to, uh, to a deal where it says here that you need to replace the battery soon. Red, the battery will likely needs to be serviced. And then there's also a blue one. So let's get out of here, move back. And then here it says blue, battery is functioning normal. So we're basically in the middle road that we, sooner or later we have to actually do or replace this battery. According to Apple, they states that if it's at 1,000 milliamps or lower, 
uh, for full charge, then there's a time where you'll need to actually replace the battery. So here you are still looking at least an hour, an hour and a half the most. Uh, so you can go ahead and use that. But basically this application is very simple and easy. It's only showing you this little bar window here, uh, which goes around, which is good and great. Uh, there are, actually, again, other battery health products out there. And so basically this is how to use the battery diagnostics. Here we go. If you want to wait, uh, select no. So then, or you would select yes, and then you can go ahead and put your rating uh, according to your Apple ID. Uh, so this one basically here is a 716 amps uh, cycles. Sorry, so it's actually close to the expiration, 716, because they say per an estimate, uh, this is a 2008 model, uh, 13 inch aluminum MacBook. Uh, it says the maximum cycle count can only 500, but it's already gone to 700. So basically, the issue is is either two parts. One, the computer hasn't recognized that it has an updated battery, so that's why it went up to 716 already. Or either two, the battery is actually extending further than what is expected of the 500 cycle count. So this is actually going 716. Hopefully, it actually goes more. That'd be great. If it doesn't, then you know we'll have no problem going ahead and obtaining another battery. So basically this is just a quick review of what uh, the application, which is called Battery DIAG DAG. Uh, we're going to go ahead and minimize that. So here's the Mac App Store. As you can see, it's been re recently released this past week, March 23rd, 2014. And um, other than that, that's it. So if you have any other additional questions, feel free to comment and rate down below on the YouTube channel or you can actually go to the YouTube channel itself directly is go to youtube.com slash user slash Apple iOS genius and then you don't have to worry about videos so this is all one word Apple iOS genius hit enter and give it a second and it actually pulls on my channel as well as my recent videos as well as my all my videos so thanks and thanks for watching YouTube channel with Apple iOS genius good day